Welcome sa guys sa uh, <coughs> uh, finals lesson to natin sa <coughs> modern mathematics or mathematics in the modern world. Uh, di discussin natin. We're going to discuss uh, mathematical systems. And for this uh, topic, we have uh, we will be discussing the different mathematical systems, understanding modular mathematics and how it works, and then perform operations in modular arithmetic and solve congruence congruence equations okay so what are or what is a modular ma uh, arithmetic no it is associated with clock arithmetic by determining time by using a 12 hour basis it can also be done with a 7 day week period associating each day of the week by numbers from 1 to 7 yeah. mamaya magbibigay tayo ng example no Time in the past and present can be determined by using modular arithmetic. Uh, situations which form a pattern or cycle can be represented mathematically using modular arithmetic or arithmetic modulo n. Okay? So, ginagamit natin to uh, sa pagdetermine no? uh, ng mga uh, situations wherein merong pattern or cycle. Katulad ni 12-hour period. No? Uh, from 1... Yan, nauulit siya, diba? Bumabalik tayo sa 12. After 12, meron uling 1. And then, paikot-ikot siya. The same way with 7-day a week period, no? So, pagkatapos ng Sunday, babalik ulit tayo sa another Sunday, no? After ng uh, nung week na yun. Okay? So, ganun yung sinasabing pattern or cycle. Okay? So, we go now with the explanation, congruent modulo N. Given two integers daw A and B, we say that A is going to be in mod N or modulo N. If A minus B equal, uh, divided by N is an integer, where N is the modulus. So, yung N dapat daw ay integer. No? Ibig sabihin ng integer ay hindi kasama yung mga fraction or decimal. Okay? So, kung may decimal, tinatanggal natin. Okay? Kinukuha lang natin yung, uh, yung whole number, no? So, si n dapat hindi less than 1. No? Dapat greater than 1 siya. Okay? And then, uh, we can also have negative numbers no? for a and b. For example, 29 is congruent to 8 mod 3. Is a true congruent since 29 minus 8 equals 21. And then, if we divide 21 by 3, it will give us 7. And 7 is an integer. Okay? Another example, 15 is congruent to 4. Mod 6 is not a true congruent since 15 minus 4 equals 11. And 11 divided by 6 is not an integer. Okay? So, tingnan natin, 11 divided by 6. So, it is not an integer. Okay? So, this is not a true uh, congruence under ng mod 6. Next, <clears throat> kay arithmetic operations modulo n to evaluate modular expression using modulo n where n is a natural number, perform arithmetic operations and then divide by the modulus n. So, yun yung unang example natin. Explain ko muna yung a, equal, a is congruent to b. No? Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Okay. So, <clears throat> punin uli natin to para makapag uh, para meron tayong visual uh, visual aid. So, pagalitan ko ng konti. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> ang ibig sabihin ng sulat ulitin natin yan meron <coughs> so <coughs> ibig sabihin ng A is congruent to B mod or modulo mod for example 7 no ang ibig sabihin nito is Kapag dinibide mo si A at si B ng 7, 
ay pareho sila ng remainder. Yun ang ibig sabihin nito. So, for example, we have uh, uh, 23 uh, kailang, kailangan magano tayo na yan. 29, yeah, mod 3 for example, no? 29 is congruent to ano yung sabi? congruent to 8 under ng mod 3 okay mod 3 so pag dinivide mo siya ng 3 dapat pareho silang pareho, pareho sila ng remainder okay so let's check 29 divided by 3 so yung decimal na yon yun yung remainder nya so may remainder 7 no C29 so let's check sa 8 8 divided by 3 so makikita nyo the same remainder 7 din okay so yun ang ibig sabihin ng A is congruent to B mod 7 pero yung example ko no ay mod 3 no Kung gusto nyo nung the same example ng mod 7, kunin natin yung example dito sa kabila. Ito, 3, 13 is congruent to 6 mod 7. Tingnan natin kung congruent sila. Okay? <clears throat> so, 13 and 6. So, 13 and 6 is congruent to... Uh, 13 is congruent to 6 under ng mod 7. Ayan, mod 7. So, tingnan natin. Okay. So, 13 divided by 7. So, we have 0.85. So, 8 ang remainder. No? So, 6 divided by 7. You will see na 0.85 din. So, 8 din ang remainder niya. So, this is congruent. No? 13 is congruent to 6 under ng mod 7. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng congruent modulo n. Okay? So, pero may iba tayong situation, no? Hindi laging A is congruent to B, no? Pwede rin naman yung mga, yung problem is uh, iba yung kanyang presentation. So, ito yung unang variation ng ano, no? The remainder upon dividing by the modulus is the answer, no? So, kung ito yung given, 23 plus 8, ipinaevaluate sa atin, 23 plus 8. So, susundin lang natin yung uh, yung given operation. Okay? So, for example, we have 23 plus 8 daw, no? Mod 12. Ang ating sagot dyan is 1, no? Yung remainder is 1. Kasi, 23 plus 18 equals 61 and we divide it by the modulo 12, then it will give us 5. But it has a remainder of 1. So, 1 ang ating sagot. No? So, let's check. So, 61 divided by 12. We have 5.08. No? So, pag niround mo yan, ang remainder niya ay 1. Okay? Next, adding the modulus in... in adding the modulus... And in modular, it does not alter the equivalent value of the number. Okay? So, pag in mo daw si modulo doon sa 13, we still uh, congruent pa rin siya. Okay? 20. So, 7 plus 13 equals 20. 20 is congruent to 6. Will give us also a congruent relationship. No? By the way, ang congruent, ibig sabihin ng congruent ay in harmony or magkapareho. Okay? In some way, no? It is also possible to use negative numbers in modulo, no? So, for example, may negative tayo. Ina-add lang natin. Teka, punta ulit tayo dito sa ano natin, no? Example. So, kung may negative tayo, in this case, negative 2 is congruent to 5. Okay? So, ina-add lang natin to pag negative, no? Okay? So, 7... A negative 2 plus 7 will give us ano, 5, di ba? So, 5 is congruent to 5, obviously, no? So, no need for computation. Kasi, kung pareho yung 5, oh, syempre, pareho din sila ng remainder, no? So, ganun lang pag merong negative. Multiplication, okay? 
Multiplication in modulo n is possible by multiplying the two numbers and the product be divided by the modulus n. So the same way with the addition. No? Minumultiply natin, follow lang natin yung operation, then divide by the modulo n. Okay? So like this one. Okay? Uh, 15. Yan. Kung ang question ay evaluate 15 times 23 modulo 11, so ang sagot uli natin is yung remainder, no? So i-multiply natin, follow natin operations. Yung sagot di divide natin by the modulo n and then the we will get the remainder as the answer. Okay? Next, we will be discussing the solving congruence equations, no? To solve congruence equations is necessary to try out natural numbers less than modulus. Once a solution is found, other solutions can be obtained by adding the modulus to it. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, kunin uli natin to. Okay. So, ang sabi dito, to solve a congruence equation, okay, punta tayo sa, sa example, ito. So, equation niya, so merong x. Okay. So, ang sabi dito, try out daw. So, ibig sabihin, manghuhula tayo. Okay. So, in this case, nanghula tayo, pero dapat daw, pang kumanghula tayo, less than, okay, the modulus, no? So, ang modulus dito ay 4, so dapat less than 4 ang ating ihula. It's either 1, 2, 3, okay? So, nung nanghula tayo, ang nakita natin is 2, no? So, 3 times 2 plus 5 is congruent to 3. Bakit? Kasi, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. So, under ng mode 4, 11 daw is congruent to 3. So, tingnan natin. Check natin. 11 divided by the modulo, which is 4. We have 75 remainder or remainder na uh, 8. Okay? Next, yung 3, no? Divided by 4 we also have the same remainder. Okay? So, they are congruent. However, not all congruent equations ito, have a solution. There is no solution if no whole number x less than the modulus would be a solution. So, so kung hindi daw natin masosolve no? by trying out 1 to 3 under this example, then there is no solution for this problem no adding eh, ad additive and multiplicative inverses to determine the additive inverse of a given modulo find the whole number which when added to the number gives a sum equal to the modulus consider only numbers less than modulus so the same no kunin natin to ulit. so the same So, we have an example here. Example 3 is the additive inverse of 5 in mod 8 since 3 plus 5 equals 8. So, nagtra-try out lang tayo no? para ma-determine natin kung ano yung additive inverse niya. Okay? And it will give us 3 plus 5 equals 0. Bakit naging 0 to? Dahil ang ating mod ay 8. Remember, di ba, ang modulo is repeated patterns, no? So, ibig sabihin nitong modulo 8 kasi ay meron tayong pattern na hanggang 8, okay? So, 1, for example, yung, ang clock natin hanggang 8 lang, no? Kasi, agagawin ko example yung clock kasi pabalik siya cycle, di ba? So, 6, 7, sa 8, si 8 kasi hindi natin sinusulat na as 8 sa isang cycle, siya ay 0. Dahil doon nagsisimula yung ating cycle. Okay? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No? So, kung ang makuha nating modulo daw ay si 3, I mean, si additive inverse na 3, then, ako ang makukuha nating sum ng dalawang number is 0, being equivalent sa 8, then, that number is the additive inverse. For the, for the multiplicative inverse, we will also try out numbers less than Again, less than the modulus giving a result equal to 1. No? Sa additive inverse, dapat 0. Sa multiplicative, dapat 1. 
So, ang nahulaan ulit natin dito is 3 since sa mod 7, we have 5 times 3 is equivalent or congruent to 1 in mod 7. Kaya hindi nulaan lang natin to. So, ito is 15, di ba? So, under ng mod 7, check natin. 15 divided by 7. Ang ating ano is 1. Yan, remainder. Again, uh, uh, 3 divided by 7. Yan. The remainder is, hindi pala 3, 1 pala, no? So, 1 divided by 7. Yan, we have 1 also as the remainder. Okay? So, that's it for our uh, congruence, no? Equation and uh, congruent uh, modular arithmetic uh, modulo N operations.